Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day today. If you are into bags just as much as I am, then you're going to be obsessed with my channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to bug you almost every single day, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. It's at joshy.michael. Alright, so I have a reveal for you today, but first let's talk about the lip gloss of the day. And that is this Chanel gloss in... 7-2, I should have this like memorized, 7-2-2. And this is my favorite one. I love it, I'm obsessed with it, and yes, it's just, I love this, it's good stuff. Okay. Okay, I need to breathe. Breathe. All right, I've been doing a lot of shopping <laughs> from Fashion File, but thankfully, I've been like getting really good stuff, for the most part, at really good prices, and this is no exception, so. This is not like a trim boxing, it's already been unboxed, but this is more of a reveal. It came in this dust bag, and this bag, I am so glad I got this bag. I love this bag. I, let me just show you, I'm gonna shut up, stop talking, and just show you what it is. Unless I put it on the thumbnail what it is. I don't know, but let's look at it. So, I, was able to score this beautiful Louis Vuitton Palace BB in the black, so the black handles, black piece here, and then the sides are black as well. And this is really like super lightweight, squishy canvas. I am so glad I got this bag. It still has the stickers. I'm gonna take those off in just a minute actually. The stickers on the four things right there. I'll talk to you about it a little more in detail right now. Um, okay, let me get my thoughts together. <laughs> Let's look at it. So this is so freaking amazing. I am obsessed. I am so freaking glad I got this bag. It is like the perfect size and shape and style and like function and everything for what I love in a bag for like especially crossbody. This is just... Uh, I love this bag. I wish they would come out with it in all, like, on prod. Oh my gosh. Just murder me. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Okay, so with Louis Vuitton's recent price increases, this has now gone up to, I almost said 5000 <laughs> Maybe in 10 years, but no. $2,590 for the BB size in the black leather. Or there's one um, where you can get where it's, like, red. It's, like, a kind of like a cherry red. Uh, handle and stuff like that and this has got the black micro suede like interior and I'll show you that in just a minute well I decided I wanted this bag okay so I'm like okay I want this bag I'm not gonna buy it new I want it to be I'm gonna get it pre-loved hopefully from like fashion files so I just started kind of looking around at the different pre-loved -love sites and stuff like that and I'm like I have like an idea what I want to spend I kind of like my budget for it was like okay I'm not gonna buy it new. Let's do like two thousand, maybe like twenty two hundred dollars for it is what I was willing to kind of pay in like a new or excellent condition. One. This popped up on there. There, there's two more on the Fashion File website. One I think is twenty two hundred. The other one is like tw like, I think retail actually. I don't freaking know why. But one's made in France, one's made in the USA. This one is made in France, and you're gonna vomit. I freaking got almost a thousand dollars off of this bag. As soon as it popped up on there, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? And it came with the the dust bag, of course. So well, it was in the fashion pile dust bag, uh, and this the actual bag was like inside of it. And the strap is right here, so it came with, of course, with the strap. And then the hardware, at least these little parts, have the stickers still on them. And I love the hardware. I mean, I, it's just like amazing. The strap is, okay, let me show, I'll show you that in a minute. So I about died when I saw that it was made in France. It came with the strap, the dust bag. I think it said it was in excellent condition. And... <laughs> It was like $1,600, <laughs> so I was like dead. It was like meant to be, and I'm like gagging. This bag is, oh my God, let me just, here. Just look at it. It's got the, I really like these zipper pulls in here. 
they're like, um, they feel nice, and I like that they kind of, they, they have like this flippiness. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I don't know. Okay. And then, I like that it's like a dual zipper. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, because it's like really hard to see. On the leather here, like I can barely freaking see it. It says Louis Vuitton Paris like right there. I don't know if I have to get it like in the light just right, but it does, it does say it there. Anyway, and then the sides are like, this is like all leather, like you can put your finger in there, it's like leather, and the canvas is like sewn together here. Like that. I freaking love that these have, it has these magnets, these magnet pockets. Like they're, they're like good magnets too. Like here, like I really don't want to like stretch it out too much, but let me just, it keeps wanting to close. <laughs> Okay, so here's like, you can't really see in there, but it's lined and the leather goes down, I would like maybe like halfway. And then the other side, you can see there's like a little bit of canvas on the inside and then the rest of it's the micro like fiber. So it's pretty cool. I feel like it's done really well and the hardware like feels like nice. It doesn't feel like chintzy. Like I like that it's all matching. Like. <laughs> Like everything matches, like this all matches. It's all like the shiny brass, if it is brass. I don't even know if it's brass. But they, it does say Louis Vuitton Paris on the zipper poles and then on all four of the handle bases right here. You know what, screw it, let's just take the, should I just take the sticky off? We're just gonna take it off because it's gonna look better. It's gonna look all shiny and pretty. Okay, so there's one off. Can you see the difference between the shiny, like, yeah, you definitely can. Okay. Let me just take the other one off too. This bag. Okay. So I was looking to get a speedy 25 bandolier. Actually, that's kind of what I was wanting because I wanted like another monogram type bag for crossbody and see how much better that looks. Yeah. So there's without the stickers and this one, this side has the stickers. Let's take this off. So I, I, re I saw this bag. I remember actually looking at this bag and I think I put it in my like favorites or whatever on the website, but it was like so expensive. Like this is such an expensive bag, but you do kind of get, I guess you get a little bit more. Like, I feel like honestly, I feel like this is a lot better made than the speedy bags are. I just feel like this is just a lot better. It's just so much nicer. I'm so glad I went with this instead of the speedy. Now I don't want, the Speedy 25 Mandalayer because I have this. I don't need that bag. This is just so pretty. It's so lightweight. The canvas is like super squishy. So like on my Pichette Matisse I got, it's totally different canvas. Like it's completely different. It's not even the same like at all whatsoever. This looks so much better now that I took the little things off. Um, the rings on the sides have like hairline scratches on them. I don't know if you can see it because obviously this is where you attach that. Let me show you the strap really quick. It's not adjustable, but it's fine. It fits me fine. It's kind of an interesting strap because it is thicker in the middle and then it kind of tapers down. Can you see that? Maybe. I don't like it. It just, it does. It, ta it like tapers. I, I like it though. I like, I don't mind it. It doesn't like, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. It does the job for me just fine. Okay, so I love these two pockets on the outside that are magnetic. My phone fits in here. It's like, it's amazing. It's perfect. It's wonderful. I love it. I'm obsessed. Let me just tell you the measurements right off the website because I did pull it up. Let's hold, let me hold it on this side. <laughs> okay, so yes, 2590 is what this situation costs. And it says, Okay, there's no freaking measurements on here. Um, okay. Well, sorry, there's no freaking measurements on here. It doesn't. <laughs> Let me change colors and see if it is on the other color. I hate when they do that. It's so dumb. Somebody should be fired. Okay, well, the red one has the measurements on it. Freaking stupid. Okay, freaking charging this much money. They can't even have the damn measurements on there for both colors. Crackheads. Okay, so it says it's. Um, basically 10 and a quarter in length, seven and a half high, and just a little over three and a half in the width. So that's what it says on here. And then the dual pockets 
Let me just unzip it. I love the zippers and I like that you can get in here like really nicely. And let me, you know, let me take, I put the, um, the fashion file I, bag, I stuffed it with the air bags. <laughs> it's stuffed. Can you see? Okay, there we go. So there's like a slip pocket right here and I, it, on that, it's kind of hard to see, but the plaque back there says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I don't know if that's gonna show you, but that's a slip pocket, which your phone can fit in there. Oh yeah, I forgot it came with the tag thing. So it came with this stuff too. So the like, um, here, well there's the number. There you go. It came with that. I forgot, I'll just stick those back in there. Then, um, it's black, that's, I mean, I don't, I'm not a fan of dark interiors because you can't really see, but it is the microfiber in there, yada, yada, yada. There's no other pockets or anything, but you don't really need it because you have the two outside pockets, which I really love. I'm like obsessed with that. So this is the bag empty. And probably like when I wear this, most likely I'll just probably keep the zippers on one side while I'm wearing it. I would imagine, I don't think I'm gonna put them like in the middle or whatever. But I did want to show you like your phone can fit. so. Like the magnets are so nice. Like you just, you can just plop your phone right in there. Just like that. And it's so cool how the canvas is on the inside too. I just like love it. I love that your phone can fit in there like really comfortably. You can see it all the way down in there. And then you can just, it's got these really nice magnets. I love the magnets. They're, what is this? Now that I'm under these bright lights, I can see things. Oh, I think it's just like something. Okay. Anyway, so there we go. I love this bag. I can't wait to use it. I can't use it because we can't go anywhere. But I mean, I guess we sort of can, but you know what I mean. Okay. So, yes, these magnets are really, really strong. I am so freaking glad I got this bag. And I'm even more thrilled that I got basically $1,000 off of the bag. I just cannot even believe it. And the fact that it's made in France is just amazing to me. The top handles are awesome so when it's sitting in the seat of your car you can just grab it, get out of the car, then you have your shoulder strap on it, throw it over your shoulder and then you're just you're good to go. And I've really li I liked I've seen a couple other people where they have that uh, kind of like the guitar bandolier strap, the really thick one for these uh, in the monogram and then the black and there's like the reverse monogram one that looks really cool on this particular bag. I would wear it that way too if I had that strap. I don't have the strap but um, I think it looks really good with that thicker strap on there. I'm fine with this strap. And like my Pochette Matisse, it's monogram. So I can definitely use that strap if I want to over this one because it's adjustable if I wanted to. So you can kind of like interchange the straps out. But I'm telling you, this is a really good bag. I think it's expensive. I think it's... It's a little overpriced. It really is for mostly canvas. I don't know. I just, I didn't want to pay the full price for it. It wouldn't be horrible to. I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a, it, that, that's a tough one. Just kind of, I don't know. But I'm obsessed with it. I really, really am. How freaking cute is this bag? I am freaking dead. I know people are like weird about it, like lining up and all that stuff, but I looked at a bunch of them and they really don't like completely. Like I'm fine with how this one looks, honestly. Like I'm, I don't care. Like it looks fine to me. So I don't know. I'm happy about it. I'm very happy about this. And I cannot freaking wait to use this. I feel like honest, honestly, like I feel like I'm gonna use this bag so much, like, I just, I'm so excited about this bag. <laughs> I really, yeah. But anyway, as of right now, today, I checked Fashion File and there's two on there. There's actually a couple, but there's two with uh, the canvas in the black on there. One of them's made in France, which is just retail, which I don't know why you pay that, just order it, because it's available on the website right now, just order it. Um, you might get a USA one though, I don't know, but there's an, the other one that's listed on there is like 2200, I think, and that one's a USA bag. This one, I got it for 1600 and it's made in France. So I don't know how that happened, but 
I did because this is in really good condition. Obviously, you just saw I just took the stickers off of this part here. There's like, did I show you the bottom? I don't think I did. There's feet! And it, like the leather kind of wraps around the bottom there. And then it has the feet on the bottom, which is really cool. I love that. There, You know what? There is a little bit of wear on the feet. I forgot to tell you that. So maybe that's why this one was cheaper because there's like the rubbing on the feet. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, on all four of the feet, there is like rubbing on it, but all the corners are fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good with that. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's it. I love this bag. I'll do some comparison videos for you guys. I'll compare it with my Pichette Matisse, and then we'll do some other bags and stuff like that too eventually once I get things sorted out. But this is just so stinking cute. I just am obsessed. I seriously cannot wait to use this bag. I can't freaking wait to use it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you what you think about this bag. If you have it, let me know what, how it's wearing for you. I do not... I'll tell you this though. I do not like the ones with the dark handles or the Vachetta handles. I don't like it. I only like this bag with the black and the black or the re that red and the red. I only like, I, d I think it's ugly. In the, that's just my personal opinion. I just think it's ugly in all the other things. <laughs> I just like it in the monogram and the black. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just more uniform. I don't like the, I don't know. There's just something about the other ones where I just don't, it just like, I don't know. I don't like it. I just don't freaking like it. I hate, I don't like any of the Louis Vuitton bags with the brown handle. I don't like it. I do not like it at all. I think it's ugly. If that's just my opinion, I don't like it. But so like you may hate the black and you might like the ugly brown. So that's why we're all different from each other. And the, I'm just looking at the glazing under this lighting. It's so bright. It actually looks really nice on this one. Uh, it's actually like smooth and not bubbly. So that's awesome. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. So until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.